Printing bridges is the eco way to do it. Electric vans invade London and the Olympics may be over, but we found a record-breaking solar cell all on this week's Hail to the Brits edition of Green Tech Weekly! Welcome back to our show, the place that's got your back when it comes to being green with your tech. Let's get to those stories. That's a great idea. In our first story, bridges are amazing feats of engineering, from the Golden Gate Bridge all the way back to London Bridge. The one in London, not the one in Arizona. What? Just Google London Bridge in Arizona. I know, I've been there. Oh! Anyway, bridges take a lot of time, effort, and material to build, but what if they could be printed? What the what? Called the Stone Spray Project, the idea is to use sand and adhesive to construct buildings. Although they're not actually printing buildings, they are working their way up to bridges. They have started to print smaller things like stools and arches to test the theory. At this time, they can easily print over a substructure like scaffold, but they are working hard to get the process to work without it. The project gets greener than just using earth as a building material. The robots can be solar powered, putting the tech with the green. Solar powered robots that print with dirt? Maybe the next line of bridge will be printed. Speaking of London, see what it did there? Oh boy. The new Nissan ENV200 all electric van will be driving over London Bridge in the near future. London didn't make it easy for Nissan though, with strict emission standards and low cost requirements, it passed with flying colors. Testing for the new but iconic black cab will start next year, but Nissan did say that London will have to put a lot more chargers across the capital in order for them to roll it out on a large scale. So that means more chargers for everyone? We can only hope. In our last story, resident smart guys and girls over at the University of Toronto... Wait, that's not in London. Actually, it's all the way across the ocean from London. I know. Just checking. The University of Toronto has bumped the efficiency of the solar cell by 37% over the prior record. So basically, they have the new Olympic gold for the most efficient solar cell. Yay! Wow. Bad joke, Jar. Oh. All right. The way this was done was by using organic and inorganic chemistry to eliminate more of the nicks in the glass that would bend the light away so it can be absorbed better. So it's smoother. Exactly. That's another show. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe by hitting the doobly-doo, follow us on Facebook, and as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. And rethink it green. Okay, Four. 44, follow one. Sound check. <laughs> they're, they're fighting over who does the sound check. It's supposed to be completely quiet now. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go.